boys and girls, today we're going to read Fox Makes Friends by Adam Relf. Adam Relf is the author and illustrator. He wrote the words and drew the pictures. The title of the book is the name of the book, and the title of this book is Fox Makes Friends. So we can think about that and think about what the book will probably be about. I think it'll be about this character, Fox, and I think Fox is going to learn how to make friends. Fox makes friends. Even when there's no words on the page, I still study the illustrations, the pictures, very carefully for any clues that can help me as a reader. Here I see our main character, Fox, apples, and trees. Fox sat in his room. He was bored. I know, he said. I need a friend. Fox picked up his net and went to see his mom. I'm going to catch a friend, he declared. You can't catch friends, mom explained. You have to make friends. So Fox put down his net and set off to make a friend. What can I make a friend out of, he thought. He picked up some sticks, an apple, and some nuts, and fixed them all together. At last, he had a brand new friend standing in front of him. Are you my friend? Fox asked, but the friend said nothing. Can you come out and play, he said, but the friend didn't move. Maybe he's too small, Fox thought. I need to make a bigger friend. What's the problem? You're right. It's not that he needs a bigger friend. He needs a real friend. You could always make a friend out of construction paper and beads or glue, but they won't be able to talk to you. Just then, a rabbit ran by. Excuse me, said Fox. I'm trying to make a friend, but this one is too small. Can you help me make a bigger one? Okay, said Rabbit. They worked together and picked up a turnip, some tomatoes, and some twigs. So they found some vegetables and they stuck them all together, and they had a bigger friend standing before them. Will you be our friend? They asked, but there was no answer. Why not? You're right. It might be bigger, but it's still not a real person or animal. Can you come out and play? They said, but the friend just stood there. Maybe he's still too small, said Rabbit. Hmm, is that the problem? That he's still too small? No. Friends can come in all shapes and sizes and look lots of different, different ways. But I do like the words they were using. Such nice, kind words. At one point they said, Will you be our friend? That's a great thing to say to other people and other children if you're trying to make friends. You can say, will you be our friend? Those are very kind words. Here's some more that they used that were very kind words. Can you come and play? It's a wonderful thing to ask a friend. It's a great way to make friends. A moment later, Fox and Rabbit heard giggling in the treetops. It was a squirrel. What a mess you two are making, he laughed. Well, if you can do better, come down and help us, said Fox. Okay, said Squirrel. So they reacted very kindly to that. Squirrel told them they were making a mess, and they didn't get upset. They said, well, if you can do better, come down and help us. They didn't do it as a challenge. They really wanted the help. 
And so Squirrel said, okay. And now there are three of them. This time, all three of them set to work. They picked a huge pumpkin, a turnip, some branches, and some apples. They put them all together and had the biggest friend they could make. Are you our friend? They asked. Please, can you come and play? But there was no reply. Oh, they're saying all the right things. Please, can you come and play? That's a great thing to say to make friends. But there was no reply, no answer. Why? Mm -hmm. It's still not a real thing. Still not a real friend. Finally, they all gave up. Oh well, said Fox. I suppose I will never be able to make a friend. Do you think that's true? What do you think Fox could do if he wanted to make a friend? You're right. That's what I think too. I think he might be able to make friends with Squirrel and Rabbit. They would make wonderful friends for Fox, wouldn't they? They might be small, but they are real. Just then, Fox's mother came by. Hello, she said. Who are all your new friends? Oh, said Fox, my plan didn't work. We made friends, but they won't play with us. Not them, giggled his mother. These friends, she said pointing to Squirrel and Rabbit. Fox looked over at Squirrel and Rabbit and suddenly realized he had been making friends all along. So Fox, Squirrel, and Rabbit played for the rest of the day and they stayed friends forever. The end. How did Fox manage to make friends? Yeah, by inviting friends to play. Using words that are kind, like, please, can you come and play? Or will you be my friend? Those, those words are great. It's a great way to make new friends. Thank you for reading this book with me. If you want to try and make a friend, you should be a good friend. You should use kind words. You should invite others to play with you. If you want to make an arts and craft friend, you can use scissors and sticks and beads and construction paper or noodles and glue, and you can create a friend just like fox and squirrel and rabbit were when they used apples and sticks and vegetables. Your friend might not be able to talk with you, but it's still fun. Thank you for reading with me today.